today I wish to present new 3D printing technology that we have implemented in our startup and team. As uh, many of you know that desktop 3D printing is a very popular technique and you can print a lot of very useful stuff like 3D printed cat armor and many other things. Mainly this technology is used nowadays in engineering and design to manufacture some products and in education as well. But mainly this technology is limited to polymers. Of course, polymers are very nice materials if you compare them with many others. Uh, for example, you can use for this comparison mechanical properties as shown here. You can estimate elongation at fracture and then uh, polymers will be on this graph like an orange area. So they are more durable than many natural materials. But uh, there are also materials with much better mechanical properties. They also may have conductivity, for example. Ceramics can be even stronger. And the question is, is it possible to extend the range of materials available for 3D printing at home, for example, for customers, uh, using some technology? And the answer is yes. We made a device that is called uh, Stone Flower Ceramic 3D Printing Kit. It's upgrade for your desktop FDM 3D printer. You can install this print head instead of a filament extruder and start to print, for example, ceramics or chocolate. Our device consists of uh, three parts and uh, the main components are the syringe pump, uh, which can precisely extrude any viscous liquid or paste and uh, the print head that lets you homogenize your component if you mix it by hands, remove air bubbles and really precisely control the deposition process. And here is a list of possible materials that can be available for printing with this equipment. Of course clay and porcelain, polymers, here we main mainly UV curable resins or two component resins, metal clay to make jewelry, different paints, glazes or even food. So finally with this device we can try to get to taste the rainbow of all these very very different materials with very very different properties. This is how it may look like nowadays. You simply upload a red clay into the RAM extruder you don't need any very special materials, you don't need uh, the filament prepared for you. Material itself, the clay, is very, very cheap. It's available everywhere in the world. Now we connect the pump to the print head and use some G-code. In principle, this is kind of standard G-code for printer and if you wish to print using your favorite firmware or software, you can do this easily. Now uh, the pump will start to dispense the clay and you see kind of normal 3D printing process. But of course we have to remember that th this all is made from porcelain for example and you can use the full power of digital technologies and combine it with this ancient material. What is great that you can use, for example, open uh, source 3D models like I do here. I just download some random custom model from Tinkerverse and then using absolutely standard and free slicing software, I can prepare the G code and start printing this castle from clay. Clay is very nice material because you can easily modify it. Uh, customize this, uh, put your logo on it or add some details to your model. And after the burning in the kiln, it turns into a very solid, strong, durable object which may last for 5,000 years. Why not? This printing technology is not limited to clay. We made this uh, microprinting set to print precious 
materials in small amounts like paint, precious metal clay, or soldering paste, for example. I used here a standard uh, slicing software and just print some random image using acrylic paint. In the same way, one can deposit soldering paste on PCB board, for example. Okay, what uh, is the next step? And uh, I guess that one of the most interesting opportunities is two-component 3D printing. So recent research shows that there are many very inexpensive and available materials like calcium carbonate can be used as supporting material. And if you use two components, just porcelain and some supporting material, you can print any shapes, not just those shapes that will withstand upon printing mechanically, but nearly everything. And this two component printing have many other potential uses. For example, here is rapid liquid printing technology developed uh, last year in MIT. They print polyurethane dates from two components. It's something similar to the use of epoxide, where you also have to mix two components, and upon mixing, they solidify. Uh, what is special about this technology? As you may see, this is very, very fast, and uh, you can print very different uh, shapes rapidly. For example, using this technology, they print a chair in one minute. And now, with our equipment, this technology you can use not only in MIT, but in your kitchen or in your work workshop. Thank you for your attention.